All right, three more problems, non-calculator, a little bit more advanced integration techniques. The first one is one where I have to recognize that I have an arctan integral because arctan would be x squared plus 1 in the denominator, but I can factor out this 4. In fact, when I factor out the 4, I put this 1 fourth out in front here, and then my x squared becomes x squared over 4, which is the same thing as x over 2 squared. So now I'm integrating x over 2 squared plus 1 in the denominator. And I recognize that as arctan, so I'm integrating arctan of x over 2. I have this 1 fourth out in front, and then of course that 1 fourth, by the way, came from here. And when I integrate with the chain rule, I have to divide by the derivative of my inside function, which is this 1 half. So 1 fourth over 1 half simplifies to 1 half. So I have 1 half arctan of x over 2 and, of course, plus c. Number 3, I need long division. And I recognize that because I have a bigger degree in the numerator than I have in the denominator. So let's go through this long division. x cubed plus x is my, let's see, my dividend? I can't remember the vocabulary. So I have x cubed plus 0x squared plus x plus 0. Don't forget you, these placeholders of zeros are critical to doing this correctly. x goes into x cubed, x squared times. Then multiply. x squared times x is x cubed. x squared times negative 1 is negative x squared. Make sure that you put parentheses around this because we're subtracting them off and we want to distribute that negative sign. So x cubed minus x cubed is 0. 0x zero squared minus a negative x squared is just x squared and bring down this x right here. So x goes into x squared x times. Now multiply x times x is x squared, x times negative 1 is negative x. Once again, parentheses, subtract, you end up with x minus a negative x, which is 2x. x goes into 2x two times. Don't forget we've pulled down this 0 here, and now we multiply to get 2x minus 2, put the parentheses around it, distribute that negative sign, and you end up with a remainder of 2, which means that you can rewrite this integrand as x squared plus x plus 2 plus 2 over x minus 1, which I have written down here. Integrate with the power rule, x cubed over 3 plus x squared over 2 plus 2x. Here, integrate with the natural log. Don't forget your absolute values around the x minus 1 and add your plus c. Then the last problem here is another integration by completing the square. So I think I'm going to go to arctan. I recognize arctan because I have an x squared plus something in the denominator, and this one, you know, integrates 1 over x squared plus 1 will integrate to arctan of x. So if I complete the square, I need x squared plus 6x plus 9. That 9 is 6 over 2 and then squared. And then I have this extra plus 1 out here, which is fine x squared plus 6x plus 9 factors into x plus 3 quantity squared, and now I'm in a perfect situation to integrate with arctan. Uh, I'm just integrating this x plus 3, arctan of x plus 3, and, and I don't have to worry about a chain rule because the derivative of x plus 3 is just 1, so I'm really dividing by 1 here, but I don't need to write that in. Don't forget your plus c, and you've got your answer.